Good evening and welcome to MTV News Update for today, Wednesday, January 17, 2018. Your top headlines for tonight. Woman injured in Leopold Street drive-by shooting. Donald Ramatar urges the government to save the scrap metal industry. President David Granger appoints four attorneys as a senior counsels. And in court, a 16-year-old remanded for allegedly assaulting a 7-year-old. With the details of these and other stories, I'm Ashley Scotland. Thank you for joining us. Beginning tonight's newscast, we tell you that two persons have been arrested in South Rhinevelt following a drive-by shooting in Leopold Street that left a woman nursing multiple gunshot wounds. More from Nikhil Jordan. A resident of Leopold Street was shot multiple times about her body this morning. The woman, 55-year-old Jacqueline Ladner, sustained gunshot wounds to her body during a drive-by shooting. Reports from persons in the area have indicated that the occupants of a motor car opened fire on a shop. It is reported that the woman was in the shop at the time of the drive-by shooting. The woman was immediately rushed to the Joshua Public Hospital where she remains in a stable condition. However, the persons suspected to have carried out the inhumane act did not escape scotch-free. Based on information given to the police, ranks swooped down on a house at Penny Lane, South Rumveld, and arrested two individuals. Their identities remain unknown as police are hunting for the alleged gunmen. The motive for the drive-by shooting is unclear. Investigators have been questioning persons in the area to ascertain what may have led to the shooting. Several spent shells were retrieved from the crime scene by investigators. Nikhil Jondo reporting for MTV News Update. Former President Donald Ramatar is urging the coalition government to retain the scrap metal industry and quickly reopen the trade. His statement comes after the Guyana Metal Recyclers Association speculated that the government intends to keep it closed. Godfrey Rooms followed this report. The scrap metal trade was closed on June 15, 2015 to accommodate the forensic audit which was completed by December 2015. It remained closed pending an assessment and a strengthening of systems and introduction of new legislations. The trade was scheduled to be reopened by November 2016 according to the Minister of Business Dominic Gaskin. However, this did not happen. The trade was subsequently reopened in 2017 only for a period of three months for the stockpiles of scrap metal in the city to be exported. The Ghana Metal Recyclers Association is now wondering if the government's motive is to close the trade permanently. It is against this backdrop that former President Donald Ramatar made it clear that the trade should never be closed as it brings in much needed income to sustain many families. However, Ramotar did highlight that whilst the trade was operable, the theft of metal was also prevalent. This, he affirmed, the government must put measures in place to control. We control because we know that that trade was also um, part of the problem that trade created was stealing of, of telephone wires, transformers and GPL and so on and so forth. They've, but I don't think because of that problem you should shut the whole trade completely. You've got to put measures in place to prevent those things from happening and allow the legitimate people to, um, to, to export scrap metal. It's, a, it's still a good business. Godfrey Brooms, MTV News Update. The work of lawyers is continually being appreciated by President David Granger as four of them were today sworn in as senior counsels. Yanis Abrams followed this report. President David Granger appointed four senior counsels at State House today. During his address to legal professionals, the President congratulated the attorneys for receiving instrument of commission appointing them as senior counsels. This title gives them pride and prestige within Guyana's legal profession. For their erudition, 
their experience, their eminence and their excellence. The title is a symbol, a social symbol, representing the values of duty and integrity and the standards of social responsibility and respect for the law. The award of the honor of senior counsel recognizes those whose service in the legal profession has evinced those values and standards. Such service is worthy of emulation. Such service can encourage juniors in the profession to strive for the highest standards. President Granger further said he feels duty bound to recognize those who have served with distinction. Those appointed are Khaled Yuma Yassin, Fitz Leroy Peters, Andrew Fitzgerald Powell, and Josephine Whitehead. Under this government, nine councils have been appointed in 2017. Reporting for MTV's News Update, I am Yanis Abrams. More news to look at. Do stay tuned. Using state-of-the-art technology and highly trained professionals, let Optique Vision Care assist you with your eye care. Visit any of their four convenient locations at Times Square Mall on Grove Public Road, Helena No. 1 Mahaika, at the Giftland Mall, and our newest location at 350 East Street North Cummingsburg for added convenience. Their doors are open every day in the Giftland Mall, Monday through Saturday at Grove and East Street, every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at Mahaika. Call them today, 266-0126-222-7333 or Shop is the absolute best place to shop if you're looking for quality products at the lowest prices in the widest possible variety. Choose from a vast array of custom-made quality wooden furniture in endless designs, electrical and household appliances, clothing, cell phones and accessories, and much, much more. Pio's Pizza Shop and Household Appliances, located at Anna Caterina, West Coast Demerara. Free delivery available. Credit, no me know the secret. I'm like, oh, you know the secret? Everybody know the secret. <laughs> Introducing the new Softex Soft toilet, toilet tissue, tissue, now available across Guyana. Softex is silky smooth because it's made from virgin pulp. Softex is soft and gentle, soft to, and every gentle touch. to every touch. Even babies can use it. Manufactured and distributed by BPATS Paper Manufacturing, Eccles Industrial Site. The, the choice, choice is clear. clear. Two Softex toilet tissue, super soft and super durable, guaranteed. You're still with News Update, welcome back. 
The Granger government is unwilling to allow the judiciary to disintegrate. Recognizing that there is a shortage of judges at the Court of Appeal, President Granger today swore in a temporary judge to assist with the backlog of cases. Nicole John who tells of that. President David Granger has appointed Dr. Christopher Bulkan as a judge at the Court of Appeal. The head of state noted that Dr. Bulkan will serve as a temporary judge at the Court of Appeal. President Granger added that the judiciary preserves the system of law and order. He noted that an efficient judiciary ensures that people have access to justice and that this access is fair and swift. A full complement of judges, magistrates, and legal officers promotes judicial efficiency and public confidence in the rule of law. This ceremony this morning witnesses the appointment of an eminent Guyanese as an acting justice of the Court of Appeal. This ceremony this morning is provided for in the Constitution of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, the supreme law of the land, which at Article 128.1 provides that the judges, other than the Chancellor and Chief Justice, shall be appointed by the President, who shall act in accordance with the advice of the Judicial Service Commission. Nothing could be clearer. The Constitution of Guyana makes provision also for protecting and preserving the independence, impartiality, and integrity of the judiciary. This ceremony, therefore, is an affirmation of the government's commitment to ensuring that the judicial system remains independent. Justice Bulkan believes that his experience within the legal system he can assist in addressing the backlog of cases. In the recent years, the number of cases has been increased, given the shortage of judges to preside. Do you have an idea of, of what the backlog is? And no, 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 but I mean, I, I do think that, you know, that's integral to my appointment, sort of addressing what is a backlog of do, cases. Do you think you could get a lot done within the six months? I think that's the um, idea, yes. Yeah. So it, it will mean, um, you know, less adjournments, uh, you know, and it, it will mean, I suppose, lawyers themselves having to present the cases. You know. Would there be a possibility of extending your um, appointment? Um, at this point in time, I don't think so. It's a, I, I mean, I'm a full-time uh, lecturer at the University of the West Indies. Okay. So it's a temporary six-month appointment. Just as Bulkan will serve for six months, at the Court of Appeal before his tenure comes to an end. Nikhil John, the reporting for MTV News Update. The Society Against Sexual Orientation Discrimination is bent on changing the law to further protect persons who are often marginalized based on their sexuality. They're working closely with the Attorney General to make this a reality. Kibani Jordan with the details. The Society Against Sexual Orientation Discrimination, SACID, has concluded an anti-discrimination amendment consultation and a final report will be handed to the United Nations Development Program today, January 17, according to the Managing Director, Joel Simpson. Simpson noted that the consultation was to garner support for persons and organizations for a proposed amendment in the Prevention of Discrimination Act 1997. The purpose of the act is to eliminate discrimination in employment, training, or equal remuneration in employment for work of equal value, said the managing director. The Human Services Program is the most under-resourced of the three programs, and hence why, as managing director, I also hold down the portfolio until we have enough resources to at least have a full-time staff uh, on it. Um, why a Human Services Program? Because LGBT people suffer pervasive discrimination in Guyana. Access to basic socioeconomic services such as health, education, work and housing is severely inhibited. Over the past two months, consultations were being held with parliamentarians, the private sector, and civil society among other stakeholders. Simpson further stated that, 
A keen point which has been taken into consideration is the lack of information in schools and public education. We are committed to enabling access to these basic human services for LGBT people in Guyana. We provide services ourselves, we do some of these services ourselves, we make referrals, and we develop programs and research which provide solutions to address sexual health, mental health, literacy and remedial education, entrepreneurship and employment, and emergency shelter and housing for LGBT people as key socioeconomic needs that the community has. The managing director declared that the next step is to present the draft amendment to Attorney General Basil Williams by mid-year. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. An A Field Sapphire resident is asking for some attention to be given to the community since a particular road, which was the first link from A Field to B Field, has been in a deplorable state for years. That road has been described as a swimming pool by some residents. Find out more in this Yanis Abrams report. Residents of Afield Sophia are pleading with the relevant authorities to look into the issue of the multiple potholes through the first constructed access road which links Afield to Bfield Sophia. Odessa Primus mentioned that for the past six years the road has transformed from bad to worse. Primus noted that they had written to community leaders about the issue but stopped since they had noticed roads were being capped. And the sad thing is that um, the road right out here was um, done after the new government took office. But this cross street, which is the only cross street um, that existed before that can take you from A straight into B field, the other two were done. Um, well, created actually because they didn't have those two before. And this one was more or less neglected. The guys came, they graded the street, and that was about it. Like nothing else was done. I mean, we had a case where um, an ambulance had to come to pick up somebody here, um, and it drove around the other side, and then they had to get the person and bring them out because it, the, the vehicle, the ambulance couldn't drive in. I mean, this is a sad situation. You have taxis, these guys don't want to come through the street. They put you off at the corner, and you have to walk with your bags, walk with your kids if you're not well if you're pregnant you're basically on your own during the interview with the woman she stated the difficulty persons face especially in emergency situations um, needs urgent attention this is the first cross street this is a main street and um, sadly it, it is um, being neglected or I, I don't know like I have spoken about it I have posted about it on, on social media um, I noticed Quasi Ace is also talking about it because he's living um, right up the street so this is it's a disaster everybody is complaining but at this reporter for MTV's news update I am Yanis Abrams Coming up, legal services now offered free to vulnerable groups and government to launch a better initiative to replace the HAYS program. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26 or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. Armohan Supermarket is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Armohan Supermarket carries your entire favorite brand name goods, as well as many of the locally produced goods at the lowest prices. Groceries, toiletries, confectionaries, household items, personal care items, fresh meats, all alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages at unbeatable prices. Spend $7,500 and more and receive a free gift while stocks last. Pay your bills at Bill Express, also money transfer at Western Union, all at one convenient location. Visit us today at 36 to 37 New Road, Fridden Hoop, West Coast, Demerara. Telephone numbers 254-0334 or 254-0666. For delivery, check out Top Notch Taxi right next door, 24-hour service. Telephone numbers 254-1324 or 254-1325. 
Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. But this is MTV News Update. I thank you for staying tuned. The Society Against Sexual Orientation Discrimination launched its new project under the Human Rights Program called the Community Paralegal Services Initiative. But that arm will offer free paralegal advice and services to vulnerable groups, especially the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community. Yanis Abrams filed of this report. The Society Against Sexual Orientation Discrimination, SASAD, officially launched their Community Paralegal Service Initiative. According to the Managing Director of SASA, Joel Simpson, this will be funded for one year by the Caribbean Vulnerable Communities Coalition, which falls under the organization's Human Rights Program. Simpson stated that, with this new initiative, it will offer free legal services to members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender LGBT community. We are providing support, legal support to vulnerable groups who cannot necessarily afford legal representation. And we're acting as mediators, organizing community education and advocacy, and trying to bridge the gap between the formal and distant just justice delivery systems in Guyana. The managing director of SASA mentioned that it is to support the vulnerable groups in society which cannot afford a legal professional. The CPSI will include experienced attorneys. We're also working closely with civil society organizations, pro bono attorneys, and networks of pro bono attorneys, specifically the Caribono the Caribbean Lawyering for Social Justice, represented here today by our own uh, board secretary, Mishka Puran, attorney at law, to aid us in the provision of legal representation for our clients. So the intention of the initiative is to address the unmet needs of LGBT persons and strengthen the capacity of vulnerable communities to understand and act on their rights. The initiative started on December 20, 2017 and has already taken up several cases with members of the LGBT community. Reporting for MTV's News Update, I am Yanis Abrams. The Hinterland Employment Youth Service Initiative has served well. However, the Ministry of Education has another better initiative in store for all youths in Guyana. Shana Gomes Cornelius tells us more. Minister of Indigenous Peoples Affairs Sidney Alicock revealed while the Hinterland Employment Youth Service Initiative has worked well in the capacity that it was intended for, the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs saw it necessary to re evaluate and ultimately restructure the entire program. Now, all youths will have the opportunity to become more competitive in their trained field of work. This is the goal of the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Social Cohesion, and the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs. Minister Ali Kalk is confident that once established, the new program will be effective. Yes, it's an, a national program already been involving those uh, communities on the on region. So we'll had them in the first cohort. So the, the second cohort is some other other communities that did not benefit from the force. We are hoping by the end of February we'd, we'd be in a good position to what the program would look like. Additionally, Minister Ali Kagri that with the imminent oil and gas sector, there will be more diverse job opportunities for youths. Hence, with provisions put in place to help youths develop their true potential, it will no doubt prepare them to take advantage of any available job opportunities that may present itself, the minister affirmed. It is because of uh, limited resources and we have so many youth groups across the country 
um needing the sort of uh skill training needed for um allowing to have a a workforce ready for the eventual um development of the nation of the entire country when when the country would have been uh, would have been able to um open up with the uh new roads uh new river areas and that sort of a thing new new development across the country we're looking for all the ways possible for building the capacity of our young people Recently, the vice chairman of the National Tushaus Council, Lennox Schumann, had boldly criticized the government's Hayes program, claiming that it lacked capacity to fully engage and assist the many indigenous youths of Guyana. Schumann had argued that as a ministry tasked with representing and preserving the well-being of all indigenous people, the Ministry of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, along with the Ministry of Education, should collaboratively develop a better initiative. Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashawn Gomes, Cornelius. Residents on the east coast of Demerara are assured of adequate preparations for flood prevention during the May June rains. Chief Executive Officer of the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, Frederick Flats, said new pump stations at Enmore, Friendship Vigilance, and Lusignan are in an advanced state of completion. Further, the CEO said the pumps will increase drainage capacity and prevent flooding in East Coast Demerara communities, which are traditionally inundated with flood waters whenever it rains heavily. The NDIA is the agency responsible for maintenance and development of the drainage and irrigation structures across the country. Diana, with its pristine and untouched natural beauty, has the potential to be one of the top tourism destination countries. As such, the Tourism and Hospitality Association of Guyana will be hosting more familiarization trips, commonly called FAM trips. Lashana Gomes Cornelius with the details. According to the president of the Tourism and Hospitality Association of Guyana, Andrea de Carriage, though the 2017 familiarization trip, FAM trip, was deemed a complete success, for 2018 the concept is expected to include more travel agents, meeting planners and other travel enthusiasts to experience Guyanese culture at its fullest. Those individuals in visiting various destinations from around the world look to experience the country's natural and metropolitan environment, its culinary cuisine, nature resorts, among others, with the goal of seeing a return on their investments. The Kerry is pleased with the collaborative efforts by both the Ministry of Business and the Guyana Tourism Authority, revealed that the Tourism and Hospitality Association of Guyana is working overtime to ensure that the notion of FAM trips to Guyana continues to develop progressively. We have several FAM trips planned for 2018, but I think the most important thing for all of us to understand is that by doing the FAM trips, we're providing the experience to the people who book the trips. You can't sell what you don't know. So if by bringing the tour operators here and letting them experience Guyana as a guest, they then go back all excited and thrilled to say to, to their customers, oh, you have to go to Guyana. Let me tell you what my experience and what I went through. Um, so we have found that this is probably the best marketing that we can possibly do. You know, one good experience translates into many, 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 many more. As regards tourism as a whole, the Carries encourages individuals involved in the business of tourism and related industries to just be, according to her, as Guyanese as possible, because tourists want to experience the true culture of the country. People want to come and be immersed in the culture. They want to go to the markets. They want to, to eat what you and I eat every day. They want to go to Sarama and, and experience the Makushi culture through the, the culture group there. So they want, to, they want to experience all of those things. So rather than pretending that we are something that we're not, all we have to do is just be who we are. And people are so excited and can't wait to come. Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. More news ahead. Stay tuned. Eh uh eh, -uh. BB is where you're going with so much Windex for clean windows. All them fancy curtains, it's not even Christmas. 
Hi girl, mind your own business. I got big plans. But baby, your house don't even have windows. Eh hey, girl, you ain't think I know it ain't got window? Yes, I know it ain't got window. But look, Mokesh promised me that he carried me down by the window factory when he come home. It Eccles, it named Beeson. Like you ain't know nothing, girl. Right now, everybody talking about how Beeson got the strongest windows. Plus, they got a deal right now. If you buy 10 windows, you get a free bathroom window. So I could mind new business instead of you minding me own. Beeson Windows and Doors, serving Guyana with the highest quality standard windows for your home, office, or commercial building. Looking for fresh, tender, and flavorful meat? Then check out Rosignol Butchery for steaks, burgers, sausages, minced meat, fish, and chicken. For a tasty, attractive cocktail, we have a wide variety of packaged deli meats and cheeses to decorate your platter. We also stock a wide assortment of canned goods, seasoning salt, sauces, and marinade, all in a highly hygienic, welcoming atmosphere with warm and welcoming staff to cater to all your needs. Rosignol Butchery, we meet your needs. 73 to 74 Church Street, Georgetown. Telephone number 223-00. In today's fast-paced world of modern finance, with its many options and opportunities, you will need good advice and help getting value for your money. Hand in Hand Trust is the way to go from owning your own home or business with our residential and commercial mortgages. We'll help you realize your dreams. You can also access investment deposit accounts, share brokerage services, personal trust, thrift and pension plan trusteeship, property management, investment portfolio management, safe deposit boxes, the convenience of our Cambio, Western Union and Bill Express services. Hand in Hand Trust for financial services and more. Helping you get the most out of your financial resources and your life. Your are tuned to News Update. Welcome back. The access dam, which residents would use on a daily basis, has been blocked by a farmer and businessman in the Tamiri area. Though the residents are pleading with him to allow them access, the man is unmoved. Nicole John who filed this report. Residents of Timeri are calling on the relevant authorities to address the ongoing feud. One resident stated that the owner of the land has several acres of farmlands. However, the farmer began to fence the access dam on Tuesday, January 16, 2018, which was previously being used by the neighbors. The resident claimed that she, along with other neighbors, would use the access dam. You go on the fence up. Again, like how we do we here? We never know where for walk in, no way for walk out. So me tell my husband, my husband say, man, we go try and we go come bail a little thing at the back. We come for bail for just to get peace sake with church. He come kill at the back and doing the same nonsense again. They claim say they got to get 10, 10 acre land here, so the tree body. They got to get 10, 10 acre land for farming. We got housing scheme over there. We got 13 house lot over there where paying rent. When the people are tax, if the if land is severe, do come in and the people are tax, you want to put out the people them, or you broke down the people them step and all them kind of thing. That you go to the Mary station, you can't get no right there as long as you care church your name. That is the first thing. The residents also claimed that due to the condition of the farmlands, their lands would usually flood. 
They said the landowner purchased the lands from his brother. However, the said brother told him to leave the access dam clear for the residents to walk. However, that request was not adhered. I have a little babies every month. I can actually go to clinic with you. How I can get a place to walk when it's my fence like this? How I can get a place to walk? First thing I ask you where you're walking, you tell you you got to walk on the water top yesterday. I got a little child, I forgot to school. I'm sure I got to go to school. And every month, every day, I got to go shopping. So, how I get to put the roof for buy me little things for bringing the house? I want a piece of walk because I got to walk. Meantime, the farmer and businessman confirmed the news update that he purchased the lands from his brother and was told to leave the access dam open. However, the man claims that the lands belong to him, so he has taken measures to fence the entire land. Nikhil Jondo reporting for MTV News Update. The Leonor Diagnostic Center in Region 3 will be commissioning a new state-of-the-art maternity ward in March of this year. This was disclosed by Regional Executive Officer Dennis Jaikaran. When open, the maternity ward will provide a full range of maternity services for both pre-birth and post-delivery health care. The REO said the new maternity ward will reduce the number of referrals to the Georgian Public Hospital Corporation. Cabinet has granted its approval for the ward of $74.4 million to execute the expansion of the Leonor Diagnostic Center. Wedding Expo is back again for the 10th consecutive year and persons will again be graced with the opportunity to showcase their products and services important to weddings. The Wedding Expo is slated for March 23-25 to 25 at the Roraima Duke Lodge. Roshana gomes Cornelius followed this report. Roraima Airways has launched the 10th edition of Wedding Expo. Wedding Expos provides an opportunity for couples desirous of getting married free of cost while developing memories to last them a lifetime. Chief Executive Officer of Arima Airways, Gerald Govaya, is encouraging couples to partake in the event. Govaya affirmed that the concept of wedding tourism needs to be promoted more. That if you started the flow of wedding tourism to Guyana, if you look at the numbers in Costa Rica and Belize and St. Lucia and Jamaica, with people leaving the North American countries to go to the tropical countries to get married, and we have probably 800,000 young Guyanese living all over the world that want to get married and love to come back home and get married at Kaicho Falls, on Orinu, at Arrow Point, at Baganara, uh, on the Canopy Walkway. Gavai is calling the government to expedite the process for foreigners to get married in Guyana, as opposed to the current process that takes weeks. Well, this is the 10th anniversary, and this is the year I'm hoping that the government will confirm that the legislation that allows people to come to Guyana and get married with the same experience that people could get married in St. Lucia and Jamaica. This thing about waiting for two weeks and coming again and having to be here for two weeks is a huge deterrent. On that note, Deputy Director of the Guyana Tourism Authority, Carla Chandra, confirmed that the work has already begun. The Guyana Tourism Authority has been working with the Ministry of Legal Affairs to reduce the re residency requirement for non-nationals who wish to get married in Guyana from 15 days to two days. A marriage amendment bill was drafted and is being reviewed by the Attorney General Chambers as we speak. For this year's Wedding Expo, approximately 50 exhibitors are expected to participate in showcasing their products and services important to weddings. Couples desirous of entering the Wedding Expo's race to the altar can first do so by visiting the Roraima Facebook page, download the application, fill out and drop off at the Roraima Duke Lodge. The deadline for all applications is January 23. Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. Stay tuned for Court Roundup at the Demerara Harbor Bridge schedule as well as at the Guyana Stock Exchange. Introducing our new brand of all weather fiberglass rocking chairs for complete relaxation. We supply quality, durable, and low-maintenance indoor and outdoor table and chairs for your patio, restaurants, cafeteria, reception area, and much more. 
So sit back and enjoy quality products from Fibertech with guaranteed factory warranty. When reliability is not an option, you need a supplier you can trust. This skilled technician depends on Farfan and Mendes for heavy-duty tools. This landscaper earns a living using still equipment. High rates of production and recovery lead to this sawmiller trusting his operation to wood miser. Mothers trust the water filtration systems for the health of their families. Thanks to the automatic backup systems, you'll never be left in the dark again. Farfan and Mendes, offering you solutions you can depend on. Everything is connected, our planet, our water sources, including the water we drink. Sometimes harmful bacteria end up in our streams and canals. Although treated, the risks are high. You can prevent this pollution and contamination by maintaining your septic tank and grease traps. Call the experts at Puran Brothers Disposal Incorporated on 264-1239 or 603-5050. Keeping it clean is what we do best. Mark? I'm in the kitchen. <gasps> this is amazing! I love your tiles. Make an impression with the finest tiles imported by Lens. Lens has a huge selection of various tiles for your wall, floor, and pool needs. All of our tiles are of grade A quality, which are the highest quality tile rated. That means they last longer and are less likely to damage or crack. We're the sole distributor for many reputable companies around the world. At Lens, we have special deals for contractors and bulk shoppers. Shop at any of our three locations to get the best in towels. Lens, our product, your creation. Here is what went down at the Georgia Magistrates Court on Wednesday, January 17. A 45-year-old man accused of stealing a bicycle was on Wednesday remanded to prison by City Magistrate Fabio Azor. Mark Mangal is accused of stealing a bicycle valued $13,000 from Oslin Watson on January 12 at Bar Street Kitty. The unrepresented man pleaded not guilty to the charge. The victim's wife, who was in court, explained to the magistrate that Mangal threatened to harm her family since she was the one who caught him removing the bicycle from their Bar Street Kitty home. Magistrate Azor remanded Mangal until January 20, when the matter will be recalled before Magistrate Anit Singh. Meanwhile, a 17-year-old Linden resident was on Wednesday remanded to prison by Magistrate Fabio Azor for the possession of amphetamine. Shaquan Allen is charged for being in possession of 16 grams of amphetamine, which is an illegal substance. Allen denied the charge while his attorney, Leslie Benjamin, made an application for reasonable bail. The magistrate remanded Allen until February 7. And finally, a 16-year-old boy was on Wednesday remanded to prison for engaging in sexual activity with a 7-year-old. The teen appeared before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan where the matter was heard behind closed doors. The indictable offense allegedly occurred during the month of January 2017 at Charlotte Street, Georgetown. The teen was remanded to prison until January 25. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. The Ghana Stock Exchange closing prices for trading session 756. Let's turn our attention to the Emerald Harbor Bridge schedule.
Star Technology Wrap is next. Stay with us. Save big with everyday low prices at Highway 401 Furniture Store. Choose from our huge inventory of elegant home furnishing or let's build you a custom piece to suit any room in your home. Elegant dining room set to sophisticated living room designs. Accessorize your kitchen with modern pieces from our collection. Transform your bedroom with standard king size beds and mattresses, bedside sets, and vanities. Shop now. Save big at Highway 401 Furniture Store. Making your home a beautiful place. Financing and layaway plans available. The Anna Boxing Board of Control presents Sangre Malo by Blood, January 20th at 7 p.m. at the Cliff Anderson Sports Hall. It's Guyana versus Venezuela. Dexter Marquez versus Dionis Martinez. Elton Derry versus Jesus Vargas. Dexter de Corpo Gonzalez versus Felipe Lares. And for the WBC Faker Box Light Heavyweight Championship, Sean Kerbin versus Sheldon Lawrence. Tickets just 1,000, stands 2,000, ringside 4,000 VIP. Available at Giftland stores and all of your insurance offices in Burbies, Diamond, Freedom Perica, and Georgetown. Don't you dare miss it. Sponsored by Banks the Irish, Nature's Flow Land, Next Gen Global, New Trinado, New India Insurance, Fly Jamaica, Hand in Hand, and Giftland Office Max. With enhanced vision, your eyes become the windows to the world. Appreciating moments as you capture life in every image, creating memories and discovering the beauty around us. See, do and enjoy any occasion of life in style with superior lens technology from De Silva's Optical. With Transitions, Crizal and Verilux lenses, you'll find the perfect fit for you. De Silva's Optical South Road. Look better, see better. As the Ministry of Social Protection continues to improve the transparency, accountability, and service delivery of the senior citizen's pension system, we're kindly advising all beneficiaries of the senior citizen's pension to contact their nearest GCOM office and make an application to update their information to the nine-digit national identification card. As of March 1, 2018, the Ministry of Social Protection will not be facilitating the processing of senior citizens' pension vouchers without the presentation of the nine-digit identification card. We thank you for your cooperation. This is a message from the Ministry of Social Protection. and welcome to Star Technology Wrap. As always, I'm your host Rajesh Lakan along with Rochelle. And this week's Star Computer will help you manage your business efficiently with the deal currently on point of sale solutions. Rochelle, go ahead and tell us everything about it. All right, well, this week here we have some big deals on the point of sale department. And actually, you're going to get up to 15% off on various items. And this is running until the 20th of this month. Um, let me just go a little bit into details of the different items you can find in POS and some prices you can, you know, look forward to. Firstly, let me start with the inks and paper, which is very essential for any business. Um, we have up to 10% on the inks and papers, so that is definitely a deal. Um, we do have barcode scanners, which you would need to scan your items, starting as low as 9,900. Um, also, you can get Printers starting as low as 36.9, and those are receipt printers. And we have various kinds. If you're looking for one thermal, you're looking for the ones that use ribbon. You know, we have all your needs there. Um, in terms of the mobile one, you have that as well. In terms of the mobile one, yes, we do have. But we, I would definitely recommend you come down and get a consultation with one of our trained staff that would be able to advise you on that. Um, also, some more items that you can find are cash drawers. Which, would, which you would need for your business, and that's as low as 10.9. So those are just a few of the things that we have in that department and also on sale right now. How important is for an entrepreneur to get a point of sale solution? I think it's very essential to any business because 
Customer information is very important. Keeping track of your inventory is very important as well to any business. And these POS solutions that we have will definitely help you with that. So it is important. In terms of training, Star Computers offer that as well? Yes, we do have training and setup available here. But like I said, you can definitely come down and we'd be able to advise you better on that. The sale is going to end the 20th of this month. Mm -hmm. And I also want to mention that we do have a computer package. This is a POS package right now at 120,000, 120,900 that is. And that is a full package. You're getting a computer system with a receipt printer along with paper and a cash draw. And also as a bonus, you're going to get a UPS as well. Washa, well, tell us about some of the key features all right, well, some key features of having a point of sale solution are customer information, mm -hmm. which is very important because you'd be able to capture your customer information in terms of knowing who are your customers, what are they buying, how much they're buying, and this is going to better help you to plan sales and promotion in the future. Um, also, uh, inventory, which is very important, so you'll know how much of one item you have, how much you need, you know, what are the sales for the month, and so forth. So these reports are very, very important to your business, and POS solution are definitely going to help you with that. What shall apart from the deal on POS, what else happened in your stars? All right, well, for all the customers who did not, well, who was not able to come in last week on the surveillance promotion, we have it extended mm -hmm. onto this week, so you'd be able to come and catch that fantastic deals. Also, I want to remind you that you can like us on Facebook so you'd be able to see what deals we have on right now. Tell us what you respond last week on that. Security. On the surveillance? Uh -huh. The security response was very, very good. We had um, a lot of interested person come in to find out. Even people who already had surveillance wanted to upgrade. Uh -huh. So it was a really, really good um, response. Anything else you'd like to say to the viewers? All right, well, I just want to let you know to come down and check us out here at Star Computer. I'm sure we have what you're looking for. Well, thank you, Rochelle. And that's all we have for you in this week's edition of Star Technology Wrap. Do join us next week, Wednesday, for another edition. That's all we have for you in our newscast tonight, but before we go, here's a recap of our major headlines. Woman injured in Neopold Street drive by shooting. Donald Ramatar urges the government to save the scrap metal industry. President Granger appoints four attorneys as senior counsels, and in court, a 16-year-old remanded for allegedly assaulting a 7-year-old. The newscast can be viewed online on MTV's Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel. The news will be rebroadcast later tonight at 23 hours and at 6 hours on Thursday, January 18. On behalf of our news and technical teams, I'm Ashley Scotland, thanking you for watching. Good night.